Let's set up a printing. So here in down in its model view, and here we have layout one. If we click on layout one, it shows us a piece of paper. Um, let's do zoom, zoom all. And uh, this thing with the grid in the middle is a viewport. And the viewport is what lets us see what's on our in our drawing. So this is our viewport and we can see whatever we happen to have in our drawing. Now in the viewport settings over here we have the layers. We have a color setting here as to what it's going to print out as. So we have changed these to black. Okay, so that the viewport is black. So we'll just select color and we'll tell it that we want uh, black. There we go. Okay, and um, Border will also make black. And so this is our report. Now, why don't we see anything in here? We can get into the viewport. Right now, it's just a, an object on this piece of paper, and we can treat it as such. We can make it a little bit bigger, and we can take up the entire uh, space on the page. We can make it a bit smaller. Um, so that we can get some detail views, but we need to move around inside the viewport so we can get our stairs there. So I'm going to double click that and you'll see now that I'm in a model space within the viewport. We have our navigation cube, a 2D wireframe and such. So now that I'm in this window, I'm going to hit Z for zoom and, oh, and now we should show up uh, our stairs. And they're there. See that? So here are our stairs. Now, the catch here, though, is that the stairs are sort of gray. Well, now that we're in the viewport, if we look back down over here again, our items in the viewport have decided that they're going to print as gray. So we need to choose black again. We're overriding the viewport. There we go. So now we can see our steps and our platform. Now, if we want to put this in here sideways so we can fit it more easily, let's go ahead and turn our view. There we go. And uh, let's uh, zoom in on that. Now, the grid is a little bit distracting, so let's turn off the grid. And there's our steps. Um, now, to get out of the viewport, we have to double click outside the viewport, and now we're back in the paper space or layout. Um, now we can grab this viewport and I can hit uh, copy and hit paste and now we have another copy of the same viewport and we'll just stick it over here um, but we don't well, let's change the view okay. and we're waiting oops okay layout one there we go and you'll see look it turned gray again so I'm going to double click that change these guys back to black. Uh, we're doing a viewport override right now. We can go into some other settings to have it black in the first place. Um, so let's say we want to see this from a different direction. Let's look at it instead of from the top, we'll look at it from uh, the left side. There it is. And let's zoom in on that. So now we can see the top view and the left side view. Now if I double click outside and if I want to make these in scale, I can select both viewports and over here there's a scale window. Uh, right now it's listed as custom because we just zoomed in and out. I can choose half inch scale but it's not going to fit. Let's choose quarter inch scale. There we go and now they fit in our viewports. And this viewport here is a little bit small for that. so. Let's choose the viewport and we'll make it a little bit taller. There we go. And now we can move this so it's in the middle. There we have it. Um, click outside the viewport and now let's choose the viewport and let's look at this one from the front. So I'm going to copy and paste, line it up to there. Select it. Let's make it shorter to match up to the side of the border. There we go. And this one we are going to want to look at from the front. There we go. 
Um, so let's click outside the viewport, and then we'll select the viewport, and we'll have to change the scale again back to quarter inch. And it's a quarter inch, double click it. Let's change our viewport back to black so we can see our objects. There we go. Okay, so here are three different views. Um, now that I'm in this viewport, so I'm going to click on this viewport and I'm going to change my, uh, my drawing palette over here to annotation. And up here I'm going to um, press uh, text and put a label here. Uh, let's say that big. Top view. All right. it, uh, do I want to save my text because I hit escape? Yes, always. There we go. All right. And we'll make this one front view. Front view, and let's choose this and make it a little bit wider so it fits on one line. There we go. And uh, this one, let's see, is this one front? Maybe this is the side. I don't know, it depends on which direction the thing's facing, obviously. I'll let you guys figure that out. And we can have another viewport up here. Let's try putting, let's try copying this one and paste and paste it right there. And this one, I'm going to make an isometric view. Right. So I double click it. I'm going to go to the top first and flip it over. So it's right side up as we've been using it. Now I'm going to go to an isometric view. And there we go. So now we can see what it's going to look like in isometric view. Let's take a look and see what happens if I put it into quarter inch scale. Select the viewport. Viewport custom. Quarter inch. That'll work. Or we might need to zoom out and just put a label not to scale. Make everything black again. And there we have it. Now get out of that viewport. Yeah, actually I'm going to zoom out so people can see what it's supposed to look like. Right down here, we can use our other tools to put in our uh, title block, title block, um, platform, platform, drawing, scale, quarter inch, equals one foot zero inches. There we go. And we're going to move this up so, so slightly. And obviously you can put your name in there and the name of the theater and all that kind of stuff. So this is uh, four quick viewports. Uh, title block, draw frames around it, create your own, um, you can easily draw on a uh, layout drawing just by using standard lines and do whatever you need to do um, and so on and so forth. Okay, we can put a line between those guys. Yep. And we can do that. We can even make it a box. C for close, and so on and so forth. So the, le the rest is up to you. Thanks for watching. That's a super simple uh, layout so you can print our drawing of our stairs. Have a good day.